Uh, we have another uh, section that we call recommended resources. And, you know, do you have any resources that you recommend to people to help them grow their business or themselves personally? So I, I went to the CLA, but I think the CLA is not as good as it used to be because I feel like some of the, the strongest contributors have, have left. But I've been in these Facebook groups and, and why I don't use them. I actually have a Facebook group that oh, it's what is called it? um, it's Laundry... Laundromat owners only, like, and only is the key word we don't, and it's not for like the newbies. I mean, there's lots of great Facebooks already out there dedicated to helping new people. So I actually wanted to make this a multi-store group, but we ended up not making it the guy I started with, but, um, it's more for like the seasoned veteran, right? Like, I mean, this is, I wanted this to be like, kind of like people talking about, you know, that have been in the business. And I, I said, I, I do think it's great for the newbies, but there's probably four already that if you're a newbie and you go on there and ask questions, people are willing to help you just like the CLA. There's some people that won't help newbies. Some people will. So like I said, it, it's just more geared to, to ve- the veterans. But yeah, I mean, and if you own a laundromat, we'll accept you. I mean, but we, we do boot a lot of people that are in there just trying to sell product or push the laundry equipment or sell soap. So, I mean, we do actively remove people and it, and it is, if you own a laundromat for three months, like I, you're happy to join, like you could probably get a lot from it. But like I said, we don't generally take the questions like, what is the first thing I do? Well, you find a location. That's the first thing. I mean, <laughs> go find a different, but like you said, distributors will help you with that too. I mean, resources, I mean, distributors are not strong here in Omaha, but there's one in Iowa that's pretty good. But I mean, distributors, if you get the right distributor, but I say get a mentor, call somebody. I mean, just go to a city that you're not going to be in and go, like I said, I met um, Randy Crone is a great guy. And I don't talk to him that much anymore, but I literally just went into his laundromat and I said, I want to build one in Omaha. Well, like I said, we went to his office. He had buckets of quarters. I remember he had buckets of quarters like all lined around his office. <laughs> and we talked for two hours. And then he told me he had to go because he had another meeting. And he apologized. This man gave me two hours of his day and apologized for having to leave. I just was unannounced, unexpected visitor. But he's a great guy, salt to the earth. I mean, like I said, just just talk to people. They they'll, they will talk. I will talk to people. If I have the time, I will give you the time. But I don't always like I said, I may be going somewhere and don't take it as me being rude or being on interstate. I just, I just don't have the time in that second, but yeah. And I think yeah. that's a, that's a perfect recommended resource from you particularly because you're so good at it. I mean, it just, it comes through hugely this whole interview that you're so good at talking to people and, you know, asking questions that you need answers to and networking and building those relationships and, and, and using all of that to, you know, further your goals and to, and to take your next step forward. So awesome recommended resource.